Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to convert a decimal into a fraction. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here in item number 1, or letter A, we have 0 0.3. In letter B, we have 0 0.5. In letter C, we have 0 0.36. In letter D, we have 0 0.28. So let's start with 0 0.3. So first step you need to do here, guys, in order for us to convert 0 0.3, I will copy 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Lalagyan ko lang siya ng, ng 1 sa denominator. And as you can see, meron lang tayong 1 decimal place or 1 number on the right side of this decimal point. So meron kang 1 decimal place or 1 decimal value sa right side ng isang decimal point, you will simply multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. Pero kapag dalawa naman, like this one, 0 0.36, we have 1 and 2. Again, you will multiply by 100. And since yung atin ditong decimal is 1 lang, or 1 decimal place lang meron tayo, we will multiply it by 10. So it will become equal to 0 0.3 times 10, that is equal to 3. Parang nangyari lang, mag-move ka lang ng 1 unit from left to right. Okay? Over 1 times 10, and that is equal to 10. And... As you can see, we already have a fraction. Pero syempre, di ba guys, since we're converting or we are expressing our decimal value to a fractional value, we need to check whether the given or whether your fraction is already in simplest form or in lowest terms. But in this case, 3 over 10 is already in lowest terms. Therefore, we can consider this as our answer. So, 3 over 10. Now let's move on with letter B. For letter B, we are given 0 0.5. So copy natin 0 0.5 over 1. And as you can see, meron lang tayong 1 decimal value. Ito siya. Ibig sabihin yan, we will multiply the numerator by 10. Same with your denominator. And multiplying this, yung 0 0.5 natin times 10, that is equal to 5 over 1 times 10 this is equal to 10. And kung ano notice nyo, yung 5 over 10 natin can be expressed or it can be reduced into 1 half. Kasi, ang kalanang greatest common factor ay 5. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide by 5. Divide by 5. Divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, this is our answer guys. I hope na nakuha niyo yung process natin guys ha. Sa letter A and letter B. Now let's proceed with letter C. In letter C, 0 0.36, we have two decimal values. Now, copy natin 0 0.36 over 1. Sabi ko kanina, if your decimal value is only 1, isa lang, multiply it by 10. Pero kapag meron kang dalawang decimal value on the right side of the decimal point, you will multiply it by 100 times 100 and times 100 so we have now this one 0 0.36 times 100 mag move lang tayo ng dalawa 1 and 2 so that is 36 and 1 times 100 this is 100 and guys in this case guys yung ating 36 over 100 they're both divisible by 4 so we can divide this by 4, divide by 4, and also divide 100 by 4. So we can have this answer. 36 divided by 4, 36 divided by 4 is 9. And then 100 divided by 4, this is also equal to 25. Sorry, this is 25. Ibig sabihin guys, the answer in letter C, the fractional value of 0 0.36 in fractional form is none other than 9 over 25. So I hope guys, nandang toto kayo sa mismong video natin. For this video, ang magiging assignment nyo naman is to answer letter D. What is the fractional value of 0 0.28? So I hope guys, makita ko sa ating comment section. Comment your answer. Thank you. Bye-bye.